Hi, I'm Jeremy Sutton, and I'm going to introduce you to the use of some of my Aquatic Essentials brush variants that I've created for Painter Essentials. And before we dive in and start painting, let's just choose a color that's maybe appropriate for an aquatic scene. So sort of a light blue, maybe tending towards slight teal. And let's do a fill. So on a Mac command F, on a PC control F, and we're just going to fill with current color. That's great. Let's change the color a bit and start off with the broad watery brush and just create a little broad sort of background color here. And I've set this fairly large. So if you want to shrink down the size of this brush, you can do so with the keyboard shortcut that you see on the screen now. So on a Mac, it's Option Command, and then you drag in the canvas. And on a PC, it'd be Alt Control. And what that allows you to do is to drag until you've got the size of brush that you want. And what we're using here is a digital watercolor brush um, that actually visually blends like a glazing with what's underneath. And let's go now from the broad watery brush to the soft wavelets. And these soft wavelets also work in the digital watercolor layer. And so you can see them actually influencing those big broad um, brush strokes that lay underneath them. So you start to build up an interesting background structure. Let's now go to the breaking ripples. And this is a lovely sort of wave-like effect. So you can use this for surface areas. So for instance, if you're doing a pond and you want ripples coming out, um, like a, a Monet's garden with ripples around uh, lilies, you could do that. If you're doing a scene that's underwater, you could even maybe increase the size of this and just have these as sort of currents in the water. So you've got all sorts of possibilities with this particular breaking ripples brush. And let's just add a few air bubbles. Here we go. So we've got two different types of bubbles here. We, we were just using air bubbles. Now we're gonna use diffuse bubbles. And what you'll notice about these is that as I sort of make the brush stroke, they're sharp and then they diffuse into the water. Um, so that, I love that sort of diffusion effect. Now I think we better add uh, some fish to this uh, composition here. So let's go and dab some anemones. So we pick the anemone dabber and we're just going to add some anemones to this composition. And then let's finish with a glowing jellyfish. And these have a little luminescence quality to them. And with that, and with that, I conclude this little introduction to my aquatic essentials, which I hope you'll have a ton of fun with. Cheerio.